Hey, what's going on guys? Kevmakekins here. In this video we're gonna be handling double pawn pushes in order to initialize the peasant square every time double, double pawn push occurs. So, uh, the very first thing I would like to consider is actually, is probably to restore the tricky position back to its original state like this from the previous part because we don't really need uh, this uh, in peasant squares from from the previous uh, from the from previous tests and now let's go to our make move implementation well first uh, actually uh, let me probably compile and run the code to show you how it works without this handling so just open the terminal in the current working directory make debug and if it compiles I want to run the BBC binary executable uh, excuse me sorry just uh, okay Sorry for this. Uh, and the idea is that uh, so now we would be making the next move would be a2 a4, okay? But after this after this move a3 uh, should uh, become the in peasant square because the next move black is actually uh, capable of capturing this pawn if if it ca if it captures on a3 in peasant square. But you see, like this in peasant square has not yet been initialized. Uh, at all so uh, what we're supposed to be doing within this video is actually to uh, make this a f make make this in peasant square getting initialized every time we uh, make a double pawn push so in this case this uh, g3 should be should become the in peasant square so i hope this is this is clear and with this uh with this sort of a stuff in mind let's actually go and implement this stuff here so in case uh, just right after resetting the in peasant square, uh, we want to handle double pawn push, and we can simply say if double push, which makes sure that uh, the double pawn push flag is being turned on within the given move. Uh, again, depending on side, uh, we want to set up the in peasant square. So set in peasant square depending on side to move so again the ternary operator so I say if side is equal to white in this case uh, I want to say uh, in peasant uh, equals target square uh, sorry target square plus 8 and otherwise it would be in peasant square equals target square minus 8 so let's actually try to test this now so if I run the code again it now should be excuse me target square oh uh, like this it now should be initializing the okay okay perfect so we move in a2 to a3 and we just got uh, in peasant square uh, being initialized to a3 okay and nothing happens nothing happens but now g2 g4 and g3 becomes the peasant square and also we want to test this for black pieces respectively and in order to do this let's just change the site and run this test again so uh now we go in yeah c7 to c5 and in peasant is being set to c6 so uh, in all the other cases it won't be set to anything because we have the only double pawn push within the black position so only c6 so just to demonstrate you this again so c7 c6 and c7 c5 sets the c6 square as an in peasant square which means that the next move a white pawn is capable of capturing the c5 pawn if it captures to c6 in peasant square well okay guys so this is it from my side for this video and Thanks for watching. Hope you hope to see you in the next parts uh, within this Bitboard Chess Engine in C series. Until then, and take care.